Good morning. This is uh, George Lees, a simple man who lives in Scotland, who wants to show you why the economy is busted and make it simple enough for mothers to protect their children from this. The whole thing is now structured so that society, our government and our money lenders steal from the taxpayers and it is global. It is really really sad uh, and the concept that it has to happen because we spend too much is a complete myth. These are what we call central banks uh, and the central bank, this is the British one, is able to issue public funds to fund every public initiative in every country all across the globe. Sounds really simple doesn't it? And it could be really simple if the leaders of the central bank and the politicians who are appointed to manipulate it uh, were honest and had any form of integrity. This is the city of London, the business empire. The people there steal from the world's people uh, and I want to show you that every country across the world has got buildings like this all of them are owned by the same elite family members none of them are owned by the governments that are <laughs> supposed to run democracy uh, and I've made an earlier video on that concept you can look it up and you can scan through it but I want you to know that everything that happens now in these buildings is a crime against the people so we're told that we have to live on our income for seven years back to back in every public sector initiative including the central banks and I've tried to make a video recording of Mark Carney's appointment to the Bank of England and how even his staff in that building are in the midst of a pay freeze but he gets paid £800,000 a year they will not let me make that video they keep shutting it down and imposing other themes on the YouTube channel okay let me just take you backwards and show you that every country on the globe now is owned by those elite families who are not allowed to know very much about uh, and this one takes us into Europe these are Rothschild's owned financial institutions back in Frankfurt where they used to run their money lending business for European monarchies from the ghettos in that town everything is globalized everything is in Babylonian tower blocks and every citizen across the world who has a job has to pay taxes to keep those elite families fed but the bank no longer funds public sector initiatives, it no longer funds teachers, nurses, uh, any form of council employees, any form of public sector initiative, all of the public sector and nationalized industries and assets have been sold and the central bank issues money only to its friends. I want to show you that this is happening in every country across the globe now none of the democratic initiatives none of the local councils are solvent all of it is a massive debt pool all of it is entirely premeditated the banking crash of 2008 was not <laughs> an accident it was not a crash it is a master plan to take the citizens cash through the IMF, the World Bank, this is the American Central Bank owned uh, in the last decade or so by Ben Bernanke. He does the same role as Mervyn King did in London for a decade. They take away all form of regulation and they then allow that bank to issue money to business magnets, to people <laughs> to people that run the sovereign debt crisis like the Lloyds Banking Group the Lloyds Banking Group are now the owners of Sainsbury's 
and the co-op bank and all of those scams have happened in the last couple of years since we got the Canadian Central Banker which they won't let me talk about on the other computer because it's ever such a sensitive issue that man gets appointed unelected by a conservative chancellor who cannot find his way to number 11 Downing Street when he's given the job uh, and that man Osborne is on the board of financial companies and scams that make them billionaires their declared salary for Mark Carney in the central bank in London is £800,000 ok what I want to show you is that now they are pretending that we are in a sovereign debt crisis and that the citizens have to suffer so the citizens have their pay frozen and what I want to show you is the pro problems that that presents for the world's children and even in leafy England they are stealing massive amounts from their students now yeah and that the amount that they are stealing is on the front page of my website and everything that I am telling you here has been reported to police there is no way that you can report serious fraud in Scotland uh, that's been made plain to me the police in my hometown of Kelso are absolutely sick of me appearing at the door and trying to explain to them why they get no pension now why they have to work 13 hour shifts in London when there are massive UN protests about the financial crimes but the police are obligated to keep their eyes propped up with matchsticks as they defend the G8 tyrants and the UN people that brutalise the free world uh, and what they are doing to your children now is really 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 serious ok these are a series of articles that have been published on my website about how they appoint people who have been appointed as former bankers to negotiate the uh, the uh, coalition agreement in the first fortnight of the coalition and to appoint people like this quizzling Michael Moore MP who's since been booted out of the cabinet he locks me out of his office he will no longer meet me because I know he is a massive financial criminal and he's now stealing with impunity from British students all over Britain which is the thing that he said he would never do before he was elected into office if you look up that Liberal Democrat Scottish Secretary Michael Moore cracks beginning to show you'll get a pledge that promised not to do this you know I've just done the worst crime a politician can commit the reason most folk distrust as a breed I've had to break a pledge and very very publicly he was the boss with Vince Cable at the student loans company and the student loans company is run by the Rothschild Bank isn't that a coincidence the Rothschild Bank owns the central bank since 1815 when they crashed the stock market they made the false news about the outcomes at Waterloo and they stole the ownership of that central bank that's the British one that you saw in those pictures uh, and we've seen the American one we started the American Revolution so that we could take over the issuance of money in America there were 6,000 banks in America in the various states issuing local currency so that the locals could have some trading mechanism that was the concept all over Europe before the EU came along and issued the euros can you see how it works can you see how Mr Salmond was obligated like Ireland that has been persecuted its people have been persecuted for centuries but in Ireland they have mints and banks that can issue British currency that is acceptable in Britain all of it is a scam the Anglo-Irish bank was crashed 
the savers and investors because they issue stocks and shares for these banks which is another massive scam let me just show you the impact of that for your children and their life in debt uh, on the front page of my website I've got a series of images that will shock you and I've just added the images of this shocking information uh, so the sovereign debt crisis has been reported I've reported it to Michael Moore formally which should get me registered on Hansard but Michael Moore no longer confirms receipt of any of my correspondence even on the Trident nuclear project and I've discovered yesterday that since I discovered the Trident uh, scam in London in Eccleston Square that they have taken out the bet on uh, companies in the UK website that allows you to search for corrupted businesses by postcode which is how I discovered the involvement of Tim Spicer and the mercenary army leaders in sub-Saharan Africa in the running of a nuclear weapons extinction threat from the city of London this is the information that they will not receive because it is so evil and so destructive potentially they will stop at nothing to hide their shame uh, and there is the receipt for some of the stuff that has gone to the European authorities that abuse innocent little countries like Lithuania and those countries that came in to steal from Hearts Football Club using their central bank as the police and fiscal and authority on who gets to carve up Hearts' assets back in Lithuania and that is run by a Romanov <laughs> who were formerly the victims of this allegedly but were also the Russian Tsars uh, it is all pre-planned by the European elites and now it is the global elites uh, and when you double this up with the uh, religious scam that I have explained to you that runs the world this way for 2000 years you can see how our children never get a chance okay this is the shocking news if you're in the public sector or you rely on the public sector for the assets and things in your region which everybody does all local councils are in that debt pool now all local councils refuse to rationalize why that occurs because they know that they will no longer get paid if they expose it it's on a knife edge okay the boss at the Bank of England in the UK is for a decade or so this man no it's I think it's a five-year tenure at the Bank of England but Carney's gotten that extended to eight years and his salary has gone up from 250,000 to 800,000 in one step that's the former boss Sir David Lees he was still in charge even although Carney was appointed David Lees has just resigned in the last few months because of my campaign this is the shocking news the man that has all of you in your pay freeze is Dave Prentice earns 115,000 basic but he's got four or five business registries and I've not gone into the most of them yet because he's on the Institute for Public Policy Research Board with Rodney Bickerstaff and Rodney Bickerstaff is on the policy making boards of companies that determine the future of China that's in a very long video I made yesterday but the outcomes of this for your children are absolutely vicious uh, which is why I made that melodramatic title I want to keep it simple if there was a will and when you expose that you understand it they would be obligated to fund every public sector initiative and they would then be obligated to stop the quantitative easing which is issuing it only to their friends like Miss Lagarde the boss 
at the uh, IMF, all of the public institutions that launder money around the globe are hosted in former Rothschild mansions or streets that I have visited in the city of Washington. Yeah, she's a former boss at the French bank, uh, the Bank Paribas, and when you get refugees fleeing, they issue loans to them so that they can purchase flat pack refugee homes. It is tragic. Uh, and what happens to your children is relayed at the bot. This is the front page of my website. I've changed the headline on that this morning because I was not capturing the attention that the same people run international war crimes using the nuclear weapons and the threat of that to brutalize innocent countries for decades. So the headline now is there to try and explain why everybody in the public sector, that's teachers, teachers, nurses, uh, university lecturers, primary school teachers, secondary school teachers, policemen, parking attendants, those that still belong to nationalized transport companies. I don't believe that many people will be victims of that because the same owners and elite board members who are the bosses of the courtiers were not allowed to know who they actually are but their dukes, duchesses, kings and queens as they have been for 2000 vicious years. This is the other computer trying to direct me back to the fact that you want not to know this, they want you not to know this but they do not want you to know that your children, who you sympathetically and empathetically with, send to British universities, are now going to face a life in debt. I got my professorship all the way at the state's expense. I got a grant from the local council to pay for my subsistence at Heriot Watt University in Edinburgh. Uh, and I got drunk on a Wednesday and I got drunk on a Saturday on the basis of that payment. Yeah, and I became a professor in neuroscience. I've invented drugs that help patients in crises, but I want you now to know that my new job is much more important than anything I've ever done before. I'm going to expose these bastards as criminal profiteers and society can have all of its funding back. That is everything that democracy opts for when we replace the Quislings with honest Democrats. And that means that we have to ban secret societies that premeditate the crashing of the economy. We have to ban secret societies like the United Nations and the G8. All of their meetings are behind closed doors so that the magnitude of these crimes against the people cannot be outed. Right then, let me show you what happens. So there's the war crimes that were the headlines on my webpage for months. Nobody's interested in that because they occur in other people's countries, led by the MP for Stratford-on-Avon. Let's get down to the nub of your children and their life in poverty. There are some of the war crimes and the overlapping interlocking directors that are also the war crimes inquest chairs. Where is the one on Lord Patton's crimes? Lord Patton is the boss. There's Michael Moore, the man who is now no longer prepared to meet me, will no longer confirm receipts of any of the emails that he has sent, which is also a breach of the UK constitution. Uh, he is a deserter to British students. Uh, he reneged on that pledge and he runs if he is, as I strongly suspect, Michael Ellis Moore, 85 twisted corrupted companies in the cruise liner and P&O infrastructure globally on the oceans scams out of his registered business address in Dubai where we also run the Borders College from his constituency as a registered charity. 
right then uh, but let me show you the graph on there's the religious fraud which no one is prepared to speak about because that's another illicit money stream that captures every victim of the educational frauds the taxation frauds the IMF money laundering and all of them are rendered penniless by people like him who gave confession to junta leaders in Argentina when he was just an archbishop down there and they were conducting the junta leaders the genocides in the caravan of death and operation condor genocides right then there's the NATO's armies doing the dirty on the world's people and those are some of the puppets that run the governments for the money lenders in the twisted central bank they do not get any of their funds anymore for democratic activities that comes from the taxpayers not from the issuance of the central funds from the central bank in any country across the globe now because of NATO's might and their capacity to sweep into the Balkans and places like that and steal from the indigenous people they are some of the experts in that sector who then funded the poppy fund and run it for three decades uh, and it is really really sad that now they have turned their guns on their own children there's the Mr Bean joke on the front page of my website which is a joke at the war dead and running on a Sunday for your country Mr Bean was the war correspondent for Gallipoli and now the financial criminals are everywhere but they get Dave Prentice at Unison to take the fall for them in the public sector pay freeze where is the one so there's the revelations on Quentin Bryce being a joker at the Anzac war dead's expense there's the revelations about Pope uh, John Paul being the first Jewish Pope there's the revelations about the faking of the New Testament here is the truth about the ownership of the world and the people that like Prince Charles like the Murdochs like <laughs> the uh, Henry Kissinger being in the Future of Russia Foundation the Hermitage Museum in Russia is owned by the same people and when you get to the nub of it now they are making jokes about the Bank of International Settlements which is in Basel and looks there it is that's that building there it looks like a Dalek that's the time switch joke that means that when they do the central banking in Basel they train all of the national central bank leaders there to launder the cash through the same routes that the Germans and the Nazis and the Allies used to steal from the poor in World War II the, the financial advisor to Prince Charles is this guy here he's called Christopher Chambers and he's the boss at many many massive global con conglomerates including Delec in Switzerland everything they do is a joke about their stealing from the citizens there's the able danger stuff on Prince Andrew the Duke of York and Fergie and their role in the terror events that allowed these leaders to sweep into Afghanistan to sequester both their narcotics wealth and their central bank I cannot find the graph on student debt but it is telling there it is there's Lord Patton who's been subject of an act of God since I exposed him as a criminal I cannot get a job I cannot get any newspaper to confirm that, <laughs> that these crimes are occurring and to explain to mothers and fathers all across any of the regions anywhere in the world that the crimes against the people are committed by civic leaders like him he was the boss in Hong Kong for a decade he came back with Prince Charles on the royal yacht there's the student debt statistics in 1995 everybody including me and Lord Christopher Patton 
and his wife Louise who runs Marks and Spencers with Miss Manning and Bulla everybody got their education for free in 1995 and then they introduced the fees he's the boss at Oxford University he's the boss at the BBC everything gets covered up by Mrs Thatcher's crooked appointments of people like Savile for knighthoods and uh, the knighthood I heard about this morning was Alan Beath who's still brave enough to monitor my facts on Facebook he must have been knighted in the last fortnight they were congratulating him on that yesterday he's a Lib Dem like Michael Moore they take the fall for everything that the bigger political crimes represent there's the student debt up to £50,000 by the end of 2013 that's £50,000 for a degree that Lord Patton and I got for nothing that's a picture of me at Tagu University where I learned all about drug safety and I've yesterday revealed all about the scams and the asset stripping of every, every public sector issue in the UK including the NHS and the defrauding of patients by giving them too many drugs so that doctors can get 40% of their salary for doing that that's a salary that is over £100,000 a year okay I get nothing all of this has gone to the Queen her aides reply constitutionally she cannot interfere with her own government's crimes against our own children I'm going to stop there but I'm going to go back to the so what needs to happen is that you need to give Dave Prentice a conscience because he's now the boss at Unison and he's on the court of the Bank of England and Unison is the biggest public sector union in our once great country our great and honest country <laughs> uh, and what you've got as the headlines at the top of my web page now is that Dave Prentice the biggest union leader in the country is on the court of the Bank of England the unison boss Dave Prentice is stealing from all public sector workers and British citizens because he will not do the decent thing and issue the capital that would fund his members and would fund all of the poor people it would fund the DSS all of the unemployed everything could be blissful our high streets could be business like and every building could be occupied with profits being generated within it from industrial and honest people worthy to issue the funds so that democracy could thrive instead they give it to their friends like they did in wartime and peacetime for several decades se several centuries since <laughs> since the uh, Napoleonic Wars and all of the European conflicts that led up to those it is ruthless and it is going to stop really quickly and I hope that is simple enough for the mums to understand their children's life in debt and the fact that their children with that debt burden uh, can never own their own home they can never have a mortgage and Dave Prentice and university leaders uh, all over the country all of the Russell Group leaders are corrupted all of them have massive directorships in companies like Rolls Royce in economic companies like Dave Prentice Dave Prentice got his degree at the London School of Economics it is a massive crime against the world's people and she Lagarde is now the boss at the IMF and she followed on from the rapist Strauss Kahn also a Frenchman who was uh, the former boss at the IMF all of the institutions for all of those theft projects are based on former Rothschild mansions or buildings that have been in already in place in Europe 
uh, for centuries and some of them are chateaus that were occupied by the defecting royals in wartime it is really 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 vicious hopefully the mums understand that and all you need to do when you're facing the decision of how will I cope with my energy bills that rise 20% every year and with sending my child into that fund all you need to do is to declare to the university leader and your local councillors and your MPs that you understand it and you are going to obligate them to do the honest thing for their country all of them are traitors and profiteers at the children's expense and I could not show you how Mark Carney appointed for eight years with no accountability steals as a Canadian from the Bank of England because they manipulate my computer and they monitor me even in my own living room uh, so mums please 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 try and learn about the issuance of money we could fund everything we could have everybody employed we could have a blessedly productive society and if you're worried about overpopulation then look at my earlier videos on how that is tied to socio-economic welfare if you give everybody a job you don't need to have eight to ten kids to keep your family safe and one of them might be able to thrive in this horribly vicious and greedy environment stopping now because most of the time I talk too much if any mums are interested in getting in touch with me I'm on Facebook I'm uh, George Lees and I've got a picture of me in a flat cap in front of the Scotsman office in Edinburgh none of the British media including the Southern Reporter will do anything to reveal these crimes because they are in fear of their lives because of the cabal and its brutality and its capacity to assassinate people which I get reminded now about that by ordinary working people on a daily basis on the streets of my hometown <laughs> they need to look over their shoulder for the act of God that is coming at them there is a God and he is on mum's side 